Hey Retro fans, just wanted to do a quick little video, <clears throat> a review of sorts. Um, I got a new cable, a video cable, for my Amiga, I have it here. Um, this is from the Retro Computer Shack, who are a seller on, well I got this from eBay, I don't know if they've got an actual store, but certainly, uh, oh they do, RetroComputerShack.com, um, but I got this from eBay. Um, <clears throat> And I wanted to do a quick little review um, to see what it's like. Um, I'm not paid by these guys or anything, you know, full disclosure and all that kind of stuff. I did buy this just as a, for myself, you know, so I'm not being paid to do this review or anything like that. Um, I wish I was. <laughs> but anyway, I, I just wanted to see what this cable was like and see if it made a difference. Um, so, <clears throat> at the moment, my, my Amiga is hooked up to a CRT TV, which you'll see in a little minute, um, just by a standard uh, composite uh, cable. So it's the, the yellow sort of phono cable with the, the red and white for audio. And it just goes into a SCART plug. I'll show you in a little second. Um, whereas this is proper RGB SCART. Um, as it says on the pin there. <clears throat> So this plugs into an actual display port. I don't know why I'm showing you like that. This <laughs> plugs into the kind of monitor port of the Amiga. Um, so hopefully this will give you the best quality picture. Um, so why don't we jump over to the Amiga um, and I'll show you how it's all sort of hooked up at the moment. It's, like I say, it's hooked up with um, composite at the moment. And I'll show you that and we'll have a little look at the video quality. Hopefully it'll turn out on camera. I don't know what it'll look like. And then we'll hook this up and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so let's see. The Amiga at the moment is hooked up. I can't do this without dislodging anything because it's switched on at the moment. Um, but it's just the standard yellow um, composite with the, the white and red for the audio. And that is hooked up just with a scart. So it was a kind of composite SCART lead and turn the tail around so that is a picture now the quality is still pretty good you know I mean I wouldn't complain about that at all um, but let's see now the flicker on the TV is just because of the the refresh rate it's not it's not anything to do with the, the cable. Um, let's think, I'll we'll just go for pinball fantasies. So I'm using WHD load here, just for speed. I did buy it, it's registered, it's not a knocked off version. Everybody should register it just because it's awesome. Um, so let's do this. That's a pretty sweet picture, and like I say, I certainly wouldn't be complaining about that. So, anyway, let's uh, pause this video and I'll flick over and put the... How do you quit this? Uh, I'll flick over, uh, I'll hook up the other cable, and then we'll uh, we'll go back in and see, see what pinball fantasies look like with the RGB cable. Okay, so as you can see, I've hooked up the new cable to the uh, the video port. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. Um, to the video port with the audio uh, plugged in, which is nice. I haven't actually tried the audio yet. Now, as you saw, it was just a standard SCART, so I've not filmed the back of the TV. Um, it's just in at the back of the TV. The TV did pick up that it was RGB uh, when I plugged it in, so that was quite good. So here we are. Oh, that's going nuts. Why is that going mad? That's better. There we go. So <clears throat> I don't know that you'll be able to see much of a difference. It looks, it certainly looks nice. And you know, how much different is it to the, the SCART? I don't really know. And the, the camera's going a bit nuts. Sorry. Let's see if we can get that a bit better. I mean, it is pixel sharp. Certainly in real life when I look at it, you know, it is pixel sharp. 
Um, let's fire up Pinball Fantasies again and we'll have a, a look at how that goes. Now that to me does look a little bit sharper, I have to say. And again, I don't know how much of this will show up on camera, but that looks really sharp. The screen is obviously scrolling up and down so it's a bit harder to kind of track it, but... I mean it is, it is nice and sharp, the colours are bright. Let's quit out that just now. Um, yeah, on screen the colours were, were brighter. Again, I don't know how much it will show up on the camera. The colours were definitely brighter. Um, so I would say it's it's it really depends on your TV. I mean, obviously I'm using CRT. I don't know what it would be like on an LCD. But and it's really hard. And then sorry, it keeps flickering. But I mean, it is pixel perfect, as you can see there. So it does give a really, really nice picture. I suppose it depends on your monitor, your TV, whatever, but uh, I'm certainly happy with it if I can get that back into focus. Come on, uh, come on. There we go. So anyway, that was just a quick look at the RetroShack RGB SCART lead for the Amiga 1200. I think there are different versions, so be careful what one you get. Um, I think that cost me £12, including postage which I think is alright for a, you know, for what goes into it. It's a really nicely made cable, reassuringly kind of dense, and it smells lovely. It's, <laughs> when I opened it up, it smells like if you ever opened a paddling pool or some kind of vinyl toy or something when you were a kid, it smelled like that. So that's worth admission price alone, isn't it? Everybody sniffs the cables. But anyway, <laughs> um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.